The world of a child is full of dreams, surprises and explorations. We as adults often fail to understand the mind of a child. This is a mind that is continuously discovering the world around him. A few children have the passion to follow those dreams and make them real. Janu Barua, while growing up in the little village of Bogota, enjoyed drawing his own picture of the world. But he had yet to explore that world. The my world, which I had uh, visualized as a child, had much more color, a lot of color, and uh, a lot of flowers. You know that uh, everywhere you go, uh, I mean, surrounded by flowers, and uh, a lot of beauty. People are uh, happy everywhere. No beggars, and uh, uh, everyone is content with life, and there's no. Uh, uh, untoward incidents, no war, uh, no battle, no uh, uh, quarrel, no fights. All these things I, I had never imagined. I mean that, um, but uh, when I got to see the uh, real world, it was quite disappointing that way. As a child, when uh, I always used to sit with my father, I mean, uh, he used to uh, tell me. Uh, two things uh, very often. There's one thing is that uh, uh, whenever I talked about my dreams and all, uh, he said, uh, he used to say that in this world uh, nothing is impossible. Uh, all these uh, things which you have see on photos and uh, you see on newspapers and all this, you keep hearing about it, all these things are created by men and uh, you are also a man, uh, you can also do it. So nothing is impossible. Uh, that is one thing. And the other thing is that uh, he used to tell me that if you want to approach someone, no matter how big he is, you must go and meet him. He says that at the most he will say no. I will get out or uh, throw you out, but he cannot kill you. So <coughs> you must, uh, must be able to face that. Barua has always been fascinated by the world of a child. Innocent, unhurried and extremely perceptive. A child is very important to me. I look at a child uh, in usually in three different ways. Uh, I mean, uh, three different forms. The first is, uh, it's uh, just like a flower. And secondly, uh, it's a metaphor. I mean, uh, for me, a child uh, stands for purity. And thirdly, it symbolizes the future, the future of mankind. As a filmmaker, I always feel that uh, in what way I can contribute to the society. So I found that you know, in two ways I can contribute. I can make a film about children and also I can make a film for children. Interestingly, the portrayal of the child characters in most of his films have mirrored his image of them. They appear completely real. How does he manage to bring out such wonderfully authentic performances from his child artist? Casting and handling children in films, uh, it's a very difficult task for a filmmaker. And at the same time, it's, uh, it's quite challenging and also satisfying. Why it is difficult? Because the child is always pure. So I have to, I mean, plan a certain kind of you know method for each and every child because each and every child is different for example uh, the child in the Khagorle Bahudur uh, it's a long way to the sea he cannot act he could not act at all he's uh, in real life character you know he was very beautiful he's very nice very charming very uh, you know he expresses absolutely in sent person expressions and uh, so <clears throat> that performance in real life, I wanted to have in the film, but it was not possible. So I was having sleep, sleepless nights. I mean, while, I mean, almost it was, uh, shooting was about to start. And I came to know, I realized that he cannot act. So what to do with him? So then I found out another method that, you know, uh, suddenly I came out, I came uh, to know that he can imitate, it, uh, imitate. It. And uh, then uh, I found a method that I used to act for him. I used to act and I asked him to imitate. So that's how the whole film I finished with him. 
I, and then you, when you see the film, he, he gave an amazing performance. And, but actually it was not him, uh, actually it was me. I acted and he imitated it. So that way, you know, for each and every child actor, I have a different method of, you know, uh, handling him. There's an interesting story to the way he became a filmmaker. As a child, I was very much fascinated by uh, the concept of movement. Movement, uh, any movement, a vehicle uh, or any uh, psychologically also. And I used to see films uh, under the open sky in uh, the state. And uh, I always used to think of uh, where does it come from and uh, where, where does it begin, this film, and uh, what, where will it end. Like that, you know, I uh, hardly enjoy the stories or something. You know, I was more interested in what is behind the, uh, behind the screen. And when I was studying uh, graduation, and that time my uh, family was, I mean, my, uh, was not well off financially, so I was working during daytime and then at night I used to study and I was uh, very much uh, concerned about my future what I would do and out of curiosity I went to an astrologer an astrologer I went to then uh, I paid five rupees that time so he looked at my face and then uh, he just uh, took a paper and then wrote my questions were there and said, uh, <coughs> career, he says, uh, government job, government club. Then the uh, uh, travel, he said, uh, he wrote, uh, within Assam. Then uh, <coughs> education, he says, uh, undergraduate. I was very bugged by that. And I was started visualizing myself, you know, my future. That uh, some in some government office, uh, ball-headed government clerk doing some accounts and something like that. I was ending up my life like that. So I could not stand. That whole night I could not sleep. So next day what I did, I took a, I bought a railway ticket to Calcutta. Went to Calcutta, I stayed there for three days. I went, came back and showed the ticket to the astrologer. I said, I went out of Assam. So <coughs> that triggered me, you know, to do something because I can't keep, uh, you know, thinking about it. So I came down to Gauhati and I did my graduation. And uh, very grateful to my brother, Monu. He looked after me and I studied properly. I did my graduation. And during my graduation and during my, when I was studying <coughs> in Gauhati, that time I got exposed to a certain kind of different kind of cinema other than, you know, Indian uh, mainstream. So that, that there was a Gauhati Cine Club. They used to bring uh, a lot of foreign films. And I got very fascinated by those films. Then I felt, I, why not uh, try to learn more about it? And then I tried to, you know, uh, see where I can uh, get admission. So I tried, uh, I, I tried in Polish Film Institute, uh, which is in Lodge, where Roman Polanski had done his course. So I got selected there, but it was a six years course. But at the same time, the same year I got selected in FTII. So that was a three year course. So I got in there. Barwa has unwavering determination and a nerve of steel. He decided to take the entrance exams of the Film and Television Institute of India. I was interviewed by eight panel members and uh, I didn't know who they were except uh, the uh, Mr. Jagat Morari who was the principal that time. And uh, I went in, they asked me a lot of questions and all. So I answered at, uh, after some time, after a minute or so. They <coughs> someone asked me that, uh, uh, did I, have I seen any films of Mirnal Sen? So I said, uh, yes, uh, I have seen uh, one and a half. So why one and a half? I said, well, one film I tolerated and that second film I could not tolerate, I came out. So uh, then the another gentleman asked me, I mean, uh, what do you, think about, I uh, think about Miralson as a filmmaker. I said, uh, I don't like his films, I don't think he's a good filmmaker. So then the Mr. Jagat Murari, uh, he laughed at me, I said, uh, he, uh, he said, you can go now. So I came out. It was exactly about uh, two and a half minutes. Uh, so I came out so early and everyone was curious. So, uh, and then one chap asked me, I mean, uh, why, why did I come out uh, so early? So I said that, you know, they asked me about Milan and I answered like this. 
Then he did this. Uh, he said, "Oh my God, what did you, what you done?" Uh, then Minal Sen was inside. Then I uh, took st straight away. I didn't listen to anyone. I didn't look at anyone. I came uh, to the to the hotel. I uh, packed my bags <coughs> bags and came to the railway station. I was waiting for the train. And in the evening, I met another person who had uh, done badly in the uh, in the interview. He came and informed me that you got selected. So I went back. Then I saw my name. It was uh, third in the list. The next day, uh, I met uh, Mr. Milansen, and he he told me that you know uh, I am Milansen, <laughs> and I'll uh, see to it that you make good films. So they were very nice of uh, him, and very I first day itself I uh, encountered a great person to a very memorable incident. It was an institute which had given us opportunity to mature uh, in many ways. Uh, it depends on individuals. Institute is such a campus that if you want to get spoiled, you can get spoiled easily. But if you want to gain uh, in many ways, then this, that is the uh, right campus. Uh, you can gain like anything. Uh, and uh, I would say that's one of the best institutes in the world. A quiet, reflective person. Mostly absorbed in his work, Janu Barua is a different person in the company of his friends and people he's close to. I've been lucky to know Janu from day one. That is from the day we got selected in the institute. It happened like this. The final medical was remaining and I reached late for that medical. Everybody was in the queue and, uh, you know, there was a big queue. And Janu was the first one who was standing at the queue. So I thought, you know, he, this guy looks simple enough. Let me try and sort of wriggle my way right in the beginning. So I went up to him and told him that, look, I have got to catch the Deccan Queen at 5 in the evening. So please let me stand. Being a simpleton at that time, uh, you know, he immediately said, yes, yes, please go ahead. And then after some time, while we were waiting for the doctor, he said, isn't the Deccan Queen in the morning? And, you know, I knew that, uh, you know, he knew right from the beginning, but because of his uh, basic nature, you know, that he had no hang-ups, and he said, yes, you can join in the line. And that's how our friendship started. In our class, we have 15 of us. We used to call ourselves uh, Sine Pendre. Uh, Pendre is a French touch to uh, Pandra. It was an amazing batch. Each of us was different in thinking, in ideology, in character. But at the same time, it was the end of the day. We used to go together and go have a cup of tea together and make <coughs> fun of um, uh, ourselves. And uh, um, uh, we laugh at ourselves. So today also, in, uh, after so many years, we keep meeting uh, as Sine Pendri. We Today also, we do the same thing. We make fun of ourselves, we, you know, joke about ourselves. Three years in the Film Institute passed quickly. But soon Barua had to come face to face with the reality of surviving in Mumbai and at the same time working towards his dream of becoming a successful filmmaker. It was not easy. Yeah, in a way it was uh, quite a struggle. But uh, today when I look back at it, uh, I wouldn't... Uh, try to call it a struggle because it uh, gave me a lot of uh, positivity and uh, a lot of courage and confidence. Uh, yes, um, I had many sleepless nights and uh, many pa painful uh, <coughs> days and uh, mm, yes, something which I wouldn't like to remember again. But uh, looking at myself, uh, coming from you know a village and all this uh, the journey uh, in my life I feel that was uh, uh, that had come to me these kind of struggles and pain had come to me because I was very lucky the attraction of the Hindi film industry was strong and Janu Barwa made a smooth entry into the cinema by assisting Aruna and Vikas in their film Shak yet despite the successful entry he chose instead to return to his roots 
and to make films in Assam and in the Assamese language. Coming from Assam, that always I had this attachment towards my people, towards my society. Then uh, back of my mind always uh, I felt that uh, I must do something to uh, 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 contribute uh, to Assamese cinema. But uh, before uh, making, an, making a film in Assamese, I felt uh, that uh, I must gather certain kind of experience, practical experience and uh, mainly production experience. So that's why I came to Bombay. So I was very lucky that uh, Aruna Vikas uh, you know, took me as their assistant, very grateful to them. And uh, also I worked uh, in uh, CFS, Children Film Society, and a whole lot of experience I gathered. I worked in uh, ISRO. Then I started my own company, production company, which made uh, Janu Barua Productions, which made uh, uh, documentary films, uh, short films, corporate films and some ad films. But my intention was to make start my feature film career in Assamese, always. Who were the people to share his dreams? Who were the people to work with him to make such poignant films? Films that touched the soul of Assam. During my uh, whole filmmaking career, uh, a lot of people helped me and uh, the lot of blessings I got from a lot of people and uh, starting from uh, uh, my parents uh, they were uh, really I mean a force behind me and uh, luck also favored me with uh, uh, Mr. Saladar Barua helping me uh, he has been producing my films and uh, most of my films he did and uh, it was amazing that uh, way he had uh, come forward. His intention was to make good films. That was uh, very inspiring for me. And uh, we both together, we made uh, quite a few number of films. And we got uh, all these international, national acclaims uh, through these films. And uh, without him, uh, this couldn't have been possible. And in the whole process, uh, I got a uh, <coughs> lot of inspirations from my family, from my friends, and uh, from my brothers, sisters, and uh, above all, uh, my own family, my wife, and uh, my kid, uh, Uzu. Uh, my wife is the, my best critic and very unbiased. And, uh, uh, she's very straightforward and uh, she, uh, if I go somewhere wrong, some, something uh, I mean in my filmmaking, she straight away tells me very clearly, very straight. And that helps me, uh, you know, rectify. Barwa's films touch great heights in national and international film circles. One after another, the films won awards in every possible category. Best film? Best Director, Best Actor, Best Music, and many more. These awards have actually put Assam and the Northeast on the world map of cinema. Yeah, sometimes uh, so happens that uh, your dreams come true and uh, you feel nice about it. And in my case also it, that has happened and then I'm, I feel very lucky also. When the film was invited to Lokarno Film Festival and uh, I was uh, very thrilled and uh, uh, in fact uh, I, before that I didn't know where Lokarno was. So uh, <coughs> it was such an important festival. Now everyone today, everyone talks about Lokarno Film Festival. So yeah, way back in uh, 1988 uh, my film was there and the film got the four major awards. I was quite thrilled and then when I, uh, it was such a uh, celebration in Assam when I came back with that award and I was uh, almost taken into procession from the airport to, you know, the city and it was amazing and then uh, more than the, that what I felt nice that all the people actually, you know, uh, loved that kind of recognition which they were very much hungry for that. The crowning glory came with the Padma Shri award which he won recently. 
it was a very pleasant shock. I mean, uh, I had never expected this thing to happen. That uh, uh, maybe some some friends of mine and my family members, even maybe uh, my wife, <laughs> used to uh, feel sometimes that I have done enough uh, to get some recognition, that kind of recognition. But I, that was not in my mind. I mean, that uh, uh, truly speaking, that uh, it was a really a pleasant shock. Today, Janu Barua is considered to be much more than a filmmaker. He is a visionary, someone far ahead of his times. It's a great feeling, actually, um, uh, that uh, people accept you beyond your filmmaking uh, for a filmmaker. Coming from Northeast, uh, I always feel for the Northeast. It's very natural. And uh, what is the most sad? Uh, for me is that in front of my eyes, I mean, that uh, till since my birth, I mean, I've seen the North is breaking into uh, seven parts. Uh, but uh, <coughs> ideologically, I always feel if there is a, if people are finding a way to break up into seven parts, uh, there must be a way to, I mean, uh, uh, unite also. So that is where I always believe in. And I, I don't know, I mean, that uh, I do things and whatever I get a chance to do things so that if it, uh, things can be united uh, once again, uh, if not politically, at least culturally, socially. Prestigious institutes like Harvard University and MIT have included Barua's films in their courses on media studies. How do people relate to these films? In fact, it's an eye-opening. For me, that uh, cinema is taken, I mean, accepted so seriously worldwide and mainly in the West and universities and uh, in their study programs and all. It is uh, very uh, refreshing to, you know, know that people are inquisitive about uh, the outside world. One thing I, I felt very sad about after visiting uh, uh, with my films to these universities that uh, in our country we never get, give that kind of serious uh, thoughts. We never accept cinema as a medium uh, of uh, <coughs> a serious medium. People around the world tend to perceive Indian films as mere song and dance extravaganza. But Barua's films add another dimension to this perception of Indian cinema. Yeah, well, so far Indian cinema is concerned, I would say at present, uh, the audience worldwide, people worldwide are confused, totally confused. They, although they find it very uh, idiotic and uh, illogical, and they, uh, but uh, they uh, have no uh, choice because they uh, other than for accept that as uh, some Indian stuff. They think it's an Indian culture or something to dance around and uh, around the streets and all. But we only know that uh, that's not so. And wherever uh, regional cinema goes, I mean regional films go, like my film and others, uh, other films from, region, <coughs> from Kerala, Bengal and all, whoever had seen it, that, uh, they get the true picture. But that's very little, very uh, little section of audience. And, but in larger context, that confusion always remains. Barwa has recently started making Hindi films for a larger audience. Will his new films be another addition to the song and dance routines? I'm not trying to deviate from my own uh, line of thinking, on line of filmmaking. As a filmmaker, I always feel, whether you make it in Hindi or Assamese or something, and as a filmmaker, I always feel that one should not try to cheat the audience. In spite of living in cosmopolitan Mumbai, Barwa is quite at ease with himself in his village. He feels proud to represent his region. This is quite contrary to those who are uncomfortable with identifying with their roots. I feel very proud that I'm an Assamese. I, I come from Assam, very rural background I have, and almost from mud I have come. And then I'm uh, here in Bombay, and then that, that doesn't mean that I'm ignoring Bombay also. If I know how to respect my root, then only I'll be able to respect Bombay, otherwise not. Otherwise, I'll be taking opportunities in Bombay. People, I'll be an opportunist to, to, in Bombay. It's not. I really love Bombay because I love my roots. So somewhere there is a connection. Barua sees a great deal of promise in the emerging talents of the Northeast. Northeast is a, almost a reserve of talents. 
and in many ways in uh, most of the fields and uh, it's very sad that you know uh, they themselves don't know about it uh, so whenever i encounter with these young people i always try to remind them that uh, they should not have uh, any in inferiority complex and uh, they are very good talents only i would say that the young talents of that region first they need to uh, believe in their own resources resources of that region when he is at ease with people he is simply fun to be with he enjoys singing let us take a peek at his world hai dil hai mushkil jeena yahan jara hat ke jara bach ke ye mumbai meri jaan no it is mumbai hai dil hai mushkil jeena yahan जरा हट के जरा बच के ये मुंबई मेरी जान कहीं बिल्डिंग कहीं त्रामे कहीं मोतर कहीं मिल मिलता है यहाँ सब कुछ एक मिलता नहीं दिल इंसान का नहीं कहीं नाम निशान जरा हट के जरा बच के ये मुंबई मेरी जान दक्षिण लाइफ हैज कम फुल सर्कल फॉर जानू बरवा The little boy from a village in Assam who wanted to know where the river ends has now seen the vast ocean. His dreams, his explorations continue.